We are back with the CRZ, and this is not a mod that I planned on doing, but Alan from Subasa has graciously sent over some hood top kits. We have one for the CRZ and one for a super secret car that we have coming to the channel very soon, so stay tuned. But neither of these are labeled, so it's going to be a 50-50 opening the correct one. Uh, this one is not for the correct car. <laughs> So this is for the other car, which means this one shall be for the CRZ. Got a very nice color printed instruction manual. Got your hardware here. Then you got our struts. Yo, are these carbon fiber? No way. That's crazy. I don't know if this is real carbon fiber, but yo. If this is real carbon fiber, this is actually the first carbon fiber car part I've ever owned. Which is crazy to say. We have carbon fiber car parts coming soon. But I don't have them yet. This is the first carbon fiber product that I've had in my hands. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it looks sick, dog. Okay, I'm, I'm sure these are on for a reason, so they don't expand but I shall it shouldn't be that hard I'll yeah I don't I don't need instructions I'm a man all right let's get to installing these hood struts for the CRZ from Subasa We have ourselves right here, baggie number one. Based on the instructions, this looking piece looks like it goes on the bottom of the hood. Uh, no screws came with it, so I'm assuming we just reuse the screws that are already on the hood. Classic 10 millimeter here. Damn, that's on pretty tight. Oop. Okay, that comes out, this bracket goes in, and just bolt it back up. And this bracket has a ton of play left to right, so I'm not sure where it should be. Give it a little crank. Oop, and it rotated. Guess I gotta hold it in position pretty tight. It appears I am weak. Okay. So there is our bracket installed. This next baggie that we have here contains our next mount. This mount should be the mount that goes on the bottom of the strut, so this will attach near the fender. As well, they also provided some washers. And then based on the instructions, it sort of looks like the washer goes on the bolt that is towards the rear of the car behind the bracket. Interesting. These are both 10 millimeters as well. Gonna start with the one at the back so we can put the washer on. Next step, gonna pull off this bolt so we can mount our connector. This one's supposed to go something like that. All right, seems about legit. Next, we can go ahead with installing our struts. These have a little, like, I guess, ribbon on them to prevent them from expanding during shipment. 
And now the question is, how do I remove this ribbon? I'm going to have to just cut it. But I can't seem to finagle it off of the strut. <laughs> it's on there, all right. Maybe I can compress it. I am not nearly strong enough to do this. <laughs> don't want to bend it either. Uh, okay, just, I'm just going to cut it. And then at each end, you're going to have a little ball joint. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a little clip inside that will basically hold on the this ball onto the joint. So carefully take off this clip, push it around the back side, and then you can remove it so that it is no longer in the front. Like so. And then from there, I'm gonna just pop this on, assuming the skinny end goes on the bottom side based on the instructions. How, about, how hard do I need to pull on this before it goes on? It's super tight. Oh, there you go. And I'm just going to reinsert this pin. This is super tight. So tight that the pin doesn't want to go in either. Huh? The top side now, I'm just going to press it onto this joint. Pretty easy considering the hood of the CRZ is so light. And then I'm gonna try the top pin. I don't know why this won't go in. I've tried rotating it a bunch. Try to give it the best opportunity to, but it just doesn't want to go in. And there we go, there's our first side done. Now just to repeat the same steps on the second side. These are really strong. These are freaking strong, bro. I feel like when I release this, it's just gonna go boing. All done. That's gonna conclude today's video. As you can see, I'm only gonna run the one hood strut on the passenger side, because the struts are actually strong enough to support the hood, as you can see, with only one. So I think the sort of offset look looks sort of cool. No one's ever gonna see my engine bay because the engine bay is so boring. But if I ever do open it to do any work on this car, I used to have a little flash of carbon fiber. So that's gonna end today's video. Thank you so much to Alan and Subasa for setting these out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.